Hello everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video. So guys, today I'm going to start a new tutorial series on Amazon Tax Track Service. So welcome to part one of the tutorial series on Amazon Tax Track Service. And now in this video, I'm going to cover the overview of the Amazon Tax Track Service as you can see on my screen. But before we move on, I would like to request that if you have still not hit the subscribe button, then please do. And also don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. So now moving along, let's try to understand what exactly Amazon Tax Track is and what it is capable of. So basically, Amazon Tax Track is the scalable document analysis service that can extract printed text, handwritten text and structured data and the relevant fields from the scanned images or any images or from the PDF documents. And it is also capable of processing the expense related documents like receipts, invoices at scale which we have covered in one of the previous tutorial as a part of the analyze expense API overview. So ideally Amazon tax track uses deep learning technology in the backend to detect and extract the information. And basically it is trained on millions of documents so that it can process any type of document efficiently without any explicit need of templates or configuration. Now uh, to use the Amazon tax track, you don't need to have machine learning expertise and it's basically easy to use. So if you have any use case or requirement, which leads to OCR or automated data extraction from the forms or a use case like text extraction for natural language processing, then you can consider using Amazon tax track. Correct. So that's basically the high level of what exactly Amazon tax track is and what it is capable of and how we can use that and for what purpose right now let's have a look at what amazon tax track can detect and extract okay so here we are so amazon tax track can detect and extract the printed and handwritten text from the documents and apart from that it supports detection and extraction of printed text from the documents that are in spanish italian french Portuguese and German language apart from the English language it supports, right? And then uh, it is also able to extract uh, ASCII symbols, uh, then structured data like tables and key value pairs and the relationships. And it also provides the confidence score and basically confidence score will uh, further help us in decision making for the detected text, correct? So that's where the confidence score is very useful uh, post extraction. And basically it can also explicitly extract label data, implied data and expense related line items from the services or goods, invoices and receipts. So this is uh, what Amazon tax track is able to detect and extract. Now let's see what type of document formats are supported by Amazon tax track. So ideally you can pass the documents which are in PNG, JPEG and PDF format to Amazon tax track. And now uh, if you are making a synchronous call, so for example, you are making the synchronous calls to the API, then you can submit the images as S3 objects, or you can directly pass them as the byte array. And for asynchronous API calls, you have to submit the file as the S3 objects. That means you need to upload the file to S3 bucket for all the asynchronous operation. Correct. So that's basically two type of call it supports uh, that is synchronous call and asynchronous call. Correct. So now as a next step, we will have a look at the APIs that are available as a part of Amazon tax track and its capability along with its pricing. So here I have this table, which basically depicts the type of APIs that Amazon extract is offering as a service. Correct. So before we move on, I want you to take note that the pricing mentioned here is for the USS one uh, North Virginia region, and it may or may not be different for varying regions. So you can refer to the link that I have mentioned in the disclaimer for accurate pricing and reference to the asked region. Correct. So here the very first is detect document text, as you can see over here. So if you want to perform simple OCR and extract all the text from the document, then you can use detect document text API and the pricing for the first 1 million pages per month is $1.5 per 1000 pages and $0.6 per 1000 pages. If you go beyond 1 million pages per month, so that's detect document text API. And then we have analyzed document API. So ideally the API in the second and the third column, as you can see, it's same, 
right and we can make the same api call except we just have to change the parameters for the functionality that we want to achieve so if we want to extract tables from the documents or key value pairs from the forms then we can use analyze document api and while we use analyze document api the ocr will be performed as well and now if we look at the pricing for the tables under analyze document api then the pricing for the first 1 million pages per month is 15 dollars per 1000 pages and ten dollars per one thousand pages if we go beyond one million pages per month correct so that's for the extraction of the table and if you want to extract the forms under analyze expense api then it's fifty dollars per one thousand pages for the first one million pages per month and forty dollars per one thousand pages if you go beyond one million pages per month correct and finally uh, we have the analyze expense api so if you want to extract the information in context to the expense related document then you can use analyze expense api so basically i have covered the analyze expense api overview in a separate video so if you want to learn more about the same then the link is in the video description and if we talk about the pricing then it's ten dollars per 1000 pages for the first 1 million pages per month and if you go beyond 1 million pages per month then it's eight dollar for 1000 pages so basically this is the functionality that amazon Textrack supports like ocr extraction of the tables extraction of forms in terms of key value pairs and if you want to process any expense related document then you can use analyze expense api with its relevant pricing okay so now uh, let's quickly have a look at the console so here i am so once you are in the console search for amazon tax track and navigate to amazon tax track uh, management console and then you can click on try amazon tax track so here we will quickly have a look at the sample document so from the drop down uh, the form has been selected and on the right panel you will be able to see that it's analyzed document and under analyze document we have the raw text so basically when we use detect document text api then this is the text that it will return as a part of the response with appropriate uh, other metadata and the parameters correct and then if we want to use uh, analyze document api for key value pairs that means for forms then this is the uh, output that it looks like so basically it will return the key value set pair for the forms and then we have tables so if you want to extract the tables then again as we just discussed that we will use analyze document api with some sort of a change in parameters to extract the tables and then if you want to extract the uh, key value pair as well as the tables then that also we can do that using api all right and then we have the human review so for example if you want to send a certain file for the human review based on the confidence score then you can configure those parameters while making the api call so that we will have a look at later stage correct now from the drop down i will simply select the receipt and as you can see the analyze expense api option is enabled and here we have the key value pair and the expense line item over here Correct. So again, uh, if you want to know more about the Analyze Expense API, then the link of the video is in the video description. So have a look. So now let's quickly have a look at the benefits of using Amazon Tax Track. So basically, it's easy to integrate with the existing application. So you can easily create a small module using AWS services and expose that functionality via API endpoints. And you can just make an API call from your existing application if you want to have that functionality in that, right? And then uh, it will scale, right? It's scalable document analysis service. So you don't have to worry about the scalability. So it will automatically scale. And then uh, we don't need to implement anything from scratch because it's readily available. So we don't need any machine learning expertise, uh, right? And the pricing is transparent and it's able to perform OCR, extract structured data like tables, forms, key value pairs. And it's also able to process expense related documents, correct? So these are the few of the benefits of using Amazon Tax Track. Now uh, let's quickly have a look at the certain limits for the Amazon tax truck service. So here I have this table. So the very first is accepted file format. So basically for synchronous operation PNG and JPEG file type is supported except JPEG 2000. And for asynchronous operation uh, PNG, JPEG and PDF file type is supported except JPEG 2000. Correct. Then let's have a look at the file size limits. So you can pass 10 MB of file in terms of JPEG and PNG and 500 MB for PDF files. Then for PDF specific limits, it can have a maximum of 3000 pages uh, with a maximum height and width of 40 inches and 280 points. 
and again PDFs cannot contain JPEG 2000 images. Then if you look at the text alignment, then text should be horizontally aligned for better results and vertically aligned text is not supported at this point of time. And then if we talk about the supported languages, then it's English, French, German, Italian, Portuguese and Spanish text detection. And while we use the document in any of these languages, it's not going to return the detected language as a part of the response. So if you pass, for example, a document in German, then it will perform the OCR or whatever uh, functionality that you want to apply, right? And it will return the response, but at the same time, it's not going to return the language it detected, right? So it's not going to return that the document was in uh, German language, correct? So keep that thing in mind. And then uh, for character size, the text should have a minimum height of 15 pixels. And finally, we have a character type. So as we know that it supports handwritten and printed character recognition. So you can uh, refer more about the limits uh, from this link that I have mentioned in the disclaimer. Correct. So guys, uh, that's all I wanted to cover as a part of this video. And I hope you find this overview insightful and helpful. So guys, as usual, if you want me to do a tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.